Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, Scott, uh, Scott Age Tradition, back with another video. Um, every now and again I just like to step out from uh, behind the camera and actually do a video with, so you guys can see that I'm an actual real person. And um, so today, I um, have the day off from work. I um, usually don't work on Fridays, so I've got a couple cards in the mail. I'm going to talk about um, kind of the story about how I got those cards. And um, one more is for the uh, top 250 in the hobby registry set that I that I've been working on. So this will be the 33rd card for that, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm up to number uh, 35 on that registry set ranking, which I think there's about uh, 80 or 90 people doing the set. So 35 is pretty good. And uh, the funny thing is, the number one guy in that set it is only at 79% complete. And he probably has one of the best collections in the world that I've ever seen. And he's only at 79%, so uh, probably not a set I'll ever complete, but um, just by default, um, as I continue to work on it, um, my goal was to diversify my collection a lot this year, and um, I think that I really have. So I'll just, I'm going to continue to maintain working on that set, and it's been a lot of fun so far. So I'll show that card that I got. also picked up another card, um, kind of a 90s insert card that is really cool that does not come up a lot. Um, and then also, um, so yesterday, um, eBay had a 10% uh, off discount on anything, um, up to $100 off. So that means if you spent a thousand bucks, you could get the card for 900 bucks and so forth. So um, I was able to grab a card last night for that. Um, I actually bit, was trying to bid on two separate cards in the uh, PWCC auction. I was ending last night, it was a football auction. And um, I was outbid on both of my cards I was actually going after, unfortunately. And I was, I was outbid by a lot, you know, crazy amounts. So, you know, that's kind of how PWCC is sometimes. It's just... And I, I really don't understand that because sometimes people, just because there's a 10% discount, will buy a card. But, I mean, the, pers the person that bought the card that I was going after probably overpaid by 25% on the card just to get a 10% discount. So <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. But lucky enough for me, I had another card that I was watching that was similar to the one that ended. And I was able to grab that one and I got it for a very, very good price. So I was really happy about that. That card should be in sometime uh, mid next week. So I'll make sure to do a video when that one comes in. But without further ado, we'll kind of flip the camera around and we'll go through the cards that I got uh, in the mail this week. All right. So let's see what we got going on here for cards. Um, so we'll talk about the top 250 ad first. Picked up the um, 1968 Tops Johnny Bench, Ron Tompkins rookie card. And just, it was a beautiful looking card, graded a 6. Um, this card is really nicely centered, especially side to side. So that's one of the main things I look for in this card. And... I was happy with a six because I like the centering on the sides. So I was able to actually pick this card up from a Facebook group, which is pretty awesome. And then you can take a look at the back. I thought this card also had a really, really nice back centering as well. So part of the reason I jumped on that card, I hadn't planned on buying a card, but you kind of have to be opportunistic with some of these cards when you see a nicely centered example come up. So there's the Johnny Bench rookie card. So this is card number 33, like I mentioned, of the top 250 set. So card number 34 will be coming in next week. So we'll set the bench up back there. Really happy with that pickup. And then this just came in today. Look at how that sparkles and shines with those stars. How cool is that? 1997 Skybox EX2000. My camera doesn't even want to know what to do with this card just because... Uh, <laughs> doesn't even want to focus just because of all the bright sparkles on it. But it's the Essential Credentials Reggie White. Take a look at that design from 1997. Absolutely awesome. Um, back in the mid to late 90s, all these companies were around. I mean, you had Fleer, Upper Deck. You had uh, Skybox. And um, it was seemingly a ton of other uh, spin-offs uh, companies around that time. Um, so competition was high. And th these are some of the results. Just awesome designs on cards. You just, you, you don't really even see anything close to this nowadays. Just amazing looking card. And so, this is graded in mid 9, which is a very good grade for the card. You hardly ever see these come up. And this one is numbered 
85 out of 100. Now, the unfortunate part about this card is I actually outbid a friend of mine <laughs> on the card. So, and I know he collects these kind of cards, but I'm going to kind of, I'm going to keep it in my collection for now, but if I do move it, he'll be the first to get the card. So, pretty neat. Can't beat these 1990s inserts. So that's it. Two card mail day, but two pretty cool cards. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. And I hope you have a good Halloween. I know Halloween's coming up around the corner. So I uh, hope you guys all take care. And um, enjoy the sports weekend. Thanks.